Hi, good morning everyone. To finally start, let me introduce myself first. My name is Maria Francia Valencia from Grade 7 Reptans and I'm here to present my study entitled The Effects of Irrigating the Plants with Laundry Water, Waste Water in Bati. So, water is one of the most important resources that we need to survive our daily lives. Most of the water is wasted by people causing their bills to increase. So, I decided to do this study to know the effects of irrigating the plants with different types of used water so we can reuse water instead of using new ones. I also wanted to know if the height of the plants will increase if they are watered with laundry water, waste water in batting. With this, I came up with the hypothesis that if the plant is watered with laundry water, then it will increase its height. Based on my research, we can use laundry water, wastewater in bathing to irrigate the plants. Soapy water have some bad effects on plants because it has chemicals that will cause the plants to die, but we can avoid that problem if we use reasonable care. Household wash water, also called gray water, contains food residues and other organic matter that may attract insects and rodents. It also may contain bacteria and viruses that could cause illness. Public health officials have indicated that it may be used for home irrigation, but only in localities where no other water is available for that purpose. Don't worry about the phosphates in ordinary detergents. They will not hurt the plants. In fact, they are usually in a form that acts as plant fertilizer. I got this information at Google entitled Using Household Wastewater on Plants. The materials that I used are the following. Nine rough horsetail plants with a height of 60 cm, 100 ml of tap water, 100 ml of laundry water, and 100 ml of wastewater in bathing. What I first did is prepare the material. I took 9 rough horsetail plants and placed 3 of it on each tray. I labeled the first set of plants laundry water set A. I labeled the second set of plants wastewater in bathing set B. And labeled the third set of plants tap water set C. After that, I poured 100 ml of laundry water in each plant in set A, poured 100 ml of wastewater in bathing in each plant in set B, and poured 100 ml of tap water in each plant in set C try 9 times within 3 weeks. Last, I measured each plant with a tape measure and recorded the data. After one week of observing, the plants in set A grew an average height of 64 centimeters. The plants in set B grew an average height of 61 centimeters. And the plants in set C grew an average height of 66 centimeters. On the second week of observing, the plants in set A grew an average of 68 centimeters. The plants in set B grew an average height of 62 cm and plants in set C grew an average height of 72 cm. On the third and last week of observing, the plants in set A grew an average of 74 cm. The plants in set B grew an average height of 64 cm and the plants in set C grew an average height of 77 cm. After these three weeks of experimenting, I know that the plants in set A that is watered with laundry water grew an average of 74 cm. The plants in set B that is watered with wastewater in bathing grew an average height of 64 cm. And the plants in set C that is watered with tap water grew an average height of 77 cm. My hypothesis was supported.
the plants are still alive and increase their height. Therefore, laundry water and wastewater in bathing has a positive effect on growth of the rough horsetail plant. If I could do this experiment again, the variable that I would change would be the type of water. I would use fish sauce and soy sauce instead of laundry water and wastewater in bathing. I would also change the tap water into mineral water. I want to see if their heights will increase or they will die. That's all. Thank you. Now, I am ready for your questions, clarifications, suggestions, and other concerns. Okay. Are you ready, Miss Valencia? My question number one is, why did you choose this topic? Because of pandemic, many people de develop their own hobbies. Some of my family members have that hobby of planting, including my grandmother. She has many plants on the front of our house. She always irrigates the plants so our water bills increases. So with this, I wondered why not irrigate the plants with used water to decrease our water bills and also to reuse water. Okay. My number two question is, do you think your study or research is timely and useful? Yes. As I said on the first question, most of people use so much water every day, causing their bills to increase because of their planting hobby and watering their plants. So this is a great solution for them to decrease their bills and reuse water also. Okay, this is my question for you, Ms. Valencia. How many days or weeks did you exactly gather the data? I gathered the data in three weeks. From April 12 to May 2. And my second question, what is your greatest learning in this research? I learned that irrigating soapy water to some plants have some bad and good effects. And it is also affect the plant growth and height. But beside the topic, the greatest learning that I learned in this research was to be disciplined. I also learned how to multitask and manage time. Okay, Ms. Valencia, when did you start working on your research? I did the first step of the scientific investigatory project for on May on April 5. Okay, my next question is, do you face any difficulties while making this study? I faced some problems but not that hard po. I only face the internet problem connection, so I cannot easily gather some research. Also, lack of time because I also have other subjects to answer, but I fixed it, I fixed it in time naman po. Okay, 